Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of this Manchester United Savers. Episode number nine is the season one finale. And uh, yeah, we need to think about players that are going to be moving on come the end of the season. This is going to be a very crucial episode, especially for those who are on the brink of being on the chopping block. Uh, I feel like next season we're only going to get rid of three, four, maybe even five players. But it's not going to be a long list when it comes to the chopping block. I feel like there's a lot of players that are definitely going to make it to the first team. I've already decided uh, they're going to make it into the into the squad next season but there's a few players that I still need to actually make a, a decision on like Aaron Wambasaka the low I don't I'm not too sure which right back's gonna go because one of them needs to go just so we can improve improve that position Malasia or Luke Shaw one of them's gonna have to go so we can improve upon that left back position if we do end up using the four at the back formation Anthony Martial's already handed the transfer request so we already know he's gonna be one of those players that we're gonna cash in on and this is where we're at in the league we've already clinched the league title we drew 1-1 off camera against the Eagles away from home so that confirmed the championship we're gonna hold the trophy up against Newcastle United so that game may feature in this episode but for now we're really gonna be focusing on the Champions League because we're in the semi-finals currently is 1-1 uh, Barcelona that Barcelona they looked like they were in control of the of this back end of the first leg so we need to somehow establish superiority despite having two players two key players injured um, issues with fitness let's just see how we get on I have half a mind to use the three at the back formation just so we can overrun them in the final third we wasn't getting enough players forward enough runners in behind but I don't want to be too hasty like I said we're not at a huge disadvantage compared to the game against Newcastle so I don't want to completely throw the tie away by making drastic decisions so here goes we are going to line up with Onana Ringo at the back we have the low Varane Martinez and Luke Shaw the midfield three consists of Amrabat McTomney and Bruno Fernandes so we're going to be a bit more defensive in the middle of the park and He's playing off the right hand side. Rash is playing as the left winger, and we've got Hoyland as the number nine. Okay, let's go. We're attacking to the right, Barcelona. They're attacking to the left. We're on the way at Old Trafford. And it's time to somehow gain control over this tight. Barcelona, they did really well to outplay us in the first leg. It's time to start imposing ourselves. Let's go. Let's go. Let's travel down this left hand side. Oh, Luke Shaw caught possession right away. Cancelo. Dispossessing him, Rafinha gives it to Lewandowski. These guys take forever to turn. These centre backs are really slow. Lewandowski with a shot, good save there by Onana. Early on, Barcelona find a way to get a shot off at our keeper. They're about to get another one off, and then Onana can stop that one too. To Luke Short, play a ball in behind. No, stopped by Kincello. De Jong. Across, oh, Rafinha gets the bit of Lissandro Martinez. Good save there by Onana. 16 minutes played again. Barcelona in behind our defence. It's not really a struggle for them. Come on, man. Get the ball into the play in the gap. Okay. Oh, come on, man. This is what I mean. We win the ball, we lose it. We win the ball, we lose it. Lock on, lock off. Frankie de Jong. Romeo. Lewandowski on the edge of the box. Luis Diaz. Shot. It's blocked and uh, Onana can come to claim it. We just don't know how to get rid of Barcelona. They're just, yeah, they're, there's just some sort of magnet in our half with their attack. And we just can't get this ball going for ourselves. Come on, Anthony. Just going to cut in. Bruno. Bruno travelling with the ball. Going to play it out to the left. Decent spell of possession and then Luke Shaw does that. I'm not even aiming there. I'm aiming at Bruno Fernandes. This is just shocking. This is just shocking. And I feel like we're going to get punished eventually. We keep giving the ball up. De Jong, referee's going to give an advantage. He gives the free kick instead. He's going to try to exploit that. Rafael Varane cuts across to try and contain him. The low's back in position now, which is good. Let's force a cross out of the striker. Nope. Polishman tackled. That's it. Break away now. Refere Come on, man. How can you do that and get away with it? Referee, he didn't touch the ball. Anthony. Oh, no one's overlapping. Until Bruno comes. Until Bruno comes. Until Bruno comes. Go and get to it first. Useless. Useless. Absolutely useless. Oh, good interception by Martinez. Rasmus. Into Anthony. Let's go. Who's this? The low. The low on the ball. Gonna give that to Bruno. Switch that play. McTominay, he has to win the aerial duel between him and Frankie de Jong. Go on, Rasmus. Early cross from Luke Shaw. 
to Stegen comes to collect. Should be applying more pressure to win the ball back. Four hours gone, still nil-nil in the second leg. Rafinha. Who's this? De Jong. Pedri. Come on. Get the ball back. Urgency, urgency. Referee, that's not a free kick, man. So oh, the officiating is starting to get dodgy again. Okay, Lewandowski steps up to take it. Hits the post. Hits the post. Real threat in front of goal. The low stops it there. Araujo was just about to have an easy tap in. A heroic defending there from our fullback. So two changes made for United. McTomney is off for Mason Mount. We're also taking off Rashford. Bringing on Anthony Martial. Okay, Gunda one. Puts the ball in the box. Stop that. Well done, Amrabat. Referee, he's taken a player out and he's not done anything about it. The referee's not done anything about it. It's just disgraceful, man. It's absolutely disgraceful. Rafinha smashes it home. It's 1-0 to Barcelona. Look at that. He's taken out Amrabat. Not even taken out Amrabat. Varane's been taken out. Who what else? Araujo's gone in behind on Amrabat, which would be given a free, as a free kick against us. Ball goes in. Head up. Good save there by Anana. Another attempt. Of course, he's going to get to it before anyone else reacts. It's crazy gameplay. Anthony. Hoyland. Oh, let's go. Diogo Delo. Yes, let's go. Diogo Delo. One on one with the keeper. Delo. Oh, my goodness me. He's actually missed. Into Pedri. Oh, Ferran Torres. Good challenge there by Amrabat. Let's go. Diogo Delo. Diogo Delo. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Travelling down this right hand side again. We have another goal scoring opportunity. And again, Diogo Delo has wasted it. Oh, uh, Balde. Balde. Strong goal. Balde. <sighs> Tries to slip it in the back of the net. Pass that on Anna. He makes a brilliant save. Nine minutes to go. We're 2-1 down. And we are really demoralised right now. We've been caught out numerous times. Onana's been uh, the last line of defence. And somehow Barcelona only find themselves 1-0 up. Another stop has to be made by the Cameroonian. Come on. Overlap and run. Overlap and run over the top. Let's go. Let's go. Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony. Make this one count for us. Make this one count for us. He does. It's 1 1. It's 2 2 on aggregate. Uh, get the ball back to the halfway line. We've got seven minutes to go. Thank you. Oh, not him. But Shatiri controls it. The low. He's had a lot of free reign down this uh, right hand side. We tried to find Ivan Tony in the middle, but he runs towards the low instead of going further into the middle. I just don't get the movement. I don't get the movement at all. Malasia play another ball. Back post this time. Ivan Tony gives that to Bruno. Tony. Delo returns it. Shatire. Shatire slipped in behind. Shatire, what is Martial doing? What's, what, this is what I mean. Off the ball movement. It's not helping us out at all. It should be 2 1. It really should. Good play there. Varane. Finds Martial, who can take the ball down. Martial, Tony, returns it to Martial. Martial released on his left-hand side. Come on, let's exploit this. Let's exploit this. Shola Shatire, what's going on with that animation? Why would Shatire continue running straight if the ball's coming at him? Oh, my God. It's like they add new animations that make the game worse. I, I just don't understand. Nothing's linking up because players are either flat-footed or they don't want to go to my passes. And now Barcelona have an opportunity to hit us on the break. Cancelo. Roque. Cancelo. Plays the ball back post. Volley. Good save there by Onana. Like, no one's there to stop that from connecting. Uh, the, the IQ of the movement is just, just ridiculous. It gets worse each year. We're going to penalties to the side. Okay, so we made it this far. Let's see if we can proceed now. Penalty shootout. It's our first shootout under Romel HD's regime. And Ivan Tony slots uh, the ball into the top right corner. Good no one. Steps up. Barcelona's penalty, the first one's dispatched as 1-1. Bruno, come on, up against Ter Stegen, the German. Shot stopper, stays in one spot, hits the post and goes in. Shao Felix, go on, Onana, makes the save. Let's go, it's 2-1, 2-1, Anthony Martial to give us the lead. To give us the lead, the Frenchman, top left. Uh, penalty save, Roque. Oh, it goes for Penenka. It goes for the Penenka. It works. Mason Mount. Come on, Mount. Gonna hit through the middle. Down the middle we go. It's for 3-2. Ferran Torres. 
Oh, smashes it home. Uh, Amrabat. It's not a penalty taker. It's not a regular penalty taker. And he's, he, still hit, he still misses. Final penalty. Sergio, Sergio Roberto to put Barcelona through. They're through to the final. Come on, man. Of course that's going to happen. Like It's just complete shaggery. I'm a sore loser. I don't care. Barcelona through to the final. I, we did not deserve to go out like that. We most certainly did not. We had a lot of opportunities in the first leg to put the tie to bed. We didn't put it to bed in the first half. Second half, we allowed Barcelona to get back into it. The first half of the second leg, we were just non-existent. We didn't wake up until the 75th minute. And look, we've been punished. We've been punished on penalties. So guys, our journey in the Champions League is over. We gave ourselves a good account for the first attempt uh, in our first campaign. As you guys can see, completely dominated. 3.3 to our 1.8 XG. How many shots did they have on target at or not? not. The reason why you got mad of the match because you have to deal with 14 shots on target. It, we were just overrun. Didn't have the legs. Didn't have the personnel to, 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 to play the way I wanted to play. We did still get good ratings from certain individuals. But again, it's not enough to get the Champions League over the line. 12 yards. 12 yards. That's all Amrabat had to do. Just put that penalty away from 12 yards. I, I did everything right. He decided to blast over the bar. Um, he was one of the players that was most certainly not going to be a part of the squad next season anyway. So let's move on from here. We're back in the menu now. Seeing as uh, the season's pretty much over, we tried to play the rest of the games off camera. Again, things went wrong. Completely wrong. All pear-shaped. Our form is just completely destroyed. I don't understand what's happened in the month of May. We've not actually managed to get a win at all. As you guys can see, we lost 2-1 against Arsenal, drew 2-2 against Newcastle United, and we have the final game of the season against Brighton Hove Albion. Uh, let's just try to end this campaign on a positive. We've got five draws and five defeats in the campaign. And uh, yeah, we didn't go into this episode with that sort of record. And I just don't want it to get worse. Okay, so the last game of the season is going to be at Brighton Hove Albion. We're going to be playing against them at the Amex Stadium. I know we don't have the personnel to use the four, uh, three at the back formation. But this is how we plan to start next season. And I, I just want to find a way to build a good squad in the summer. Uh, hopefully Garnacho is going to be back. We're going to be able to use him in preseason. Same with Casemiro. And uh, hopefully we're going to have the likes of Kobe Mainu growing a couple, couple of attributes or two um, during the course of the course of the summer. But yeah, we, we let ourselves down. That's all I can really say. We let ourselves down. We found, found ways to win games in the first half of the season. In the middle of the season, we were doing okay. And just the back end, players just got tired. Players got either got complacent. So Anana's going to be in goal for this clash. At the back, we have Varane, Martinez and Luke Shaw. Uh, in our midfield, it consists of Mainu, McTomney, Fernandez, Martial and Anthony. Anthony up top, we have uh, Rashford just behind Rasmus Hoyland. Let's uh, try to start off positively as uh, we usually attempt to. Oh, come on, McTomney, man. Like, there's, there's two players right in front of him and he, he decides to go straight and right at the uh, Brighton player. Right to the Brighton player, sorry. Rasmus Hoyland. Martial. Back to Hoyland. Slipping. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno in front of goal. 1-0. 1-0, we made it look easy, a walk in the park. Hey, 1-0 is the scoreline. Five minutes is uh, taken for us to take the lead. Let's see what Brighton do with possession themselves. Right now they're sitting 20th, they're bottom, at the tape, bottom of the table, so the confidence is uh, pretty shot right now. Already confirmed to be relegated. So, should be expecting a, a healthy scoreline come the end of this game. Good pass in there, in the middle of the park. Kobe Mainu, Rashford, go on Rashford, go on Rashford. Drill it hard and low, cleared away by Lamptey. McTomney <sighs> majestically flies a buffer. I think that's Ferguson. Completely leaves uh, Luke Short. Needs on to cover Martinez. McTomney can do the trick. Gilmore down the right side, puts an early cross in. Oh, now they come to claim that. Does the honours. McTomney, Mainu, go on, Rasmus Hoyland, Hoyland to Bruno, Hoyland, nice run over the top, Bruno finds Hoyland, he finds the bottom left corner, I actually thought he missed that, that's how, much, that's how many opportunities we've missed, we've been missing so many opportunities that I thought that didn't hit the back of the net, but Rasmus Hoyland rolls it bottom left, so far, we're giving you what we promised, goals, and more goals, Luke Short, Sw sp uh, spreads play to the right. Let's go. Anthony, he's just given free reigns to run at Eagle. Eagle's just allowed him to run into that space, surprisingly. 
Uh, Estupinian has to recover. Well done, uh, Martinez. Trap back and win the ball. Composure, composure. That's what we needed there. Martial, Hoyland, Rasmus. Let's go, Rasmus. Let's go, Rasmus. We've got a uh, Rashford in the middle. There we go. 3 0. 3 0. It's a goal glut now. We're going to continue to smash uh, the ball into the back of the net. We're not finessing it no more. We've done really well to keep it this way. Normally, we give the ball up after a couple of passes, but we're getting sequences together. 40 minutes gone. Let's go. Let's proceed now. Martial breaks the ankles of that player. Gives that to Mick Tomney. Rasmus Hoyland. Go on, Bruno. He goes there to intercept. Uh, ball in behind. Who's this? Plie. Bononote. Come on, Luke Shaw. He's there. Well done, Luke Shaw. And Martial. Martial gets in the way of Luke Shaw and gives the ball back to the Brighton player. Onana has to make the save at his near post. It's just little things like that. Doesn't need to happen. Free kick taken. Just hit the outside of the post. Pascal Gross <laughs> shook up uh, Onana's goal. Onana. Varane. Anthony. Varane. Mainu. Lovely football there down that right hand side. Go on, Bruno Fernandes making a good run. We find him, we pick him out. Got a ball to play, back post. Knocked down by Amad Diallo and then Rasmus Hoyland. He doesn't hit the target, but it was a good move nonetheless. Matoma. It's put off by the challenge from Lissandro Martinez. Referee says play on. Stupinian. Stupinian. Oh, he wiggles his way into the centre. Oh, and Sufati hits the bottom right corner. Uh, it was coming. A consulate will... We're saying constellation. Brian do have enough time to pull off a comeback. Rafael Varan. Oh, good football. There, good movement. Kobe Mainu. He's gonna run through the middle. Kobe Mainu has uh, someone to his left, and that is uh, Ivan Tony. Four-one is the scoreline. Off the bench, Ivan Tony finds the back of the net. Kobe Mainu with a brilliant run as well. The future is bright. Future is definitely bright at this club. The fact that that almost went in is really scary. Pascal Gross just fires it right out on Anna. Ball goes in. Let's go. Mason Mount. Oh, there we go. Ivan Tony. Oh, no. Lamptey wins the ball back. Jao Pedro. Jao Pedro cuts it back. Pascal Gross finds the back of the net. He's been knocking on the door all afternoon and uh, he's finally hit the top left corner. It's 4 2. We'll float it into the penalty area. Leave our call. Deals with that. Come on, turn Bruno. Full time whistle's gone. The league campaign's over. The full campaign is over for us. And we've only come out with one trophy. So we end this game with 60% possession to their 40%, 2.9 XG to their 1.9. So we had a fantastic, we put in a fantastic performance for the last game of the campaign. I feel like we could have got more out of this season. Like, yeah, we, we could have we could have done better in the Carabao Cup at least. FA Cup, we almost had that within our grasp. We just fell, we faltered um, against Liverpool. And yeah, we just didn't recover after that defeat. And like I said, after the Barcelona game, this rebuild is far from over. We've got a lot of work to do. We're going to go back to the drawing board now and uh, reevaluate and assess the squad. So Mo Salah and Erlen Haaland, they ended up getting Golden Boot, the joint top goal scorers. In terms of the Premier League for Ross, Hoyland, he was 10th with 16. Ivan Tony was 12th with 14. Same with uh, Rashford, he had 14. He was 13th on the, on, the, on the list. We have Bruno Fernandes, he was 16th with 13 goals on the list as well. In terms of top assists, Bruno Fernandes, he wins, um, the, he wins uh, gets the most assists, sorry, with 17 assists in 37 uh, games in the campaign. He played 37 games, that's a lot. Onana got the most clean sheets, so I'm assuming he got golden glove. These things don't really matter, but we've got 
we, we've got two defenders, two defenders and team of the tournament in Martinez and Varane. Bruno Fernandes is a central midfielder in the team of the season as well. We have Rasmus Hoyland with 25 goals. Uh, Rashford second with 21. We've got Ivan Tony with 17. Uh, Bruno Fernandes with 15. Pause the video if you, if you want to look at the rest. But uh, my player of the season, me personally, I think it's Andre Onana. He's been shaped with his average rating. I feel like he had a lot of games where he kept us in it and uh, kept us um, yeah, winning. Kept us winning, if I'm honest with you. And he's even got himself an, an assist. <laughs> so uh, all that playing out the back, he's a uh, He's got some sort of reward. He got one assist throughout the campaign, 53 appearances and uh, 20 clean sheets. So, yeah, that's my player of the season. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Some will say Bruno Fernandes. Some will say Rasmus Hoyland because of the uh, volume of goals. Uh, I don't think anyone else will be well within a shot. So, we've ended the season with 89 points on the table. Seven points clear of Manchester City, who finished second. Third place are Arsenal and Liverpool. They are fourth. So, that's the top four decided. Uh, top six is uh, it consists of Newcastle United and Chelsea also so those two sides are going to be in Europa League ECL is going to West Ham United just about by one point over Wolverhampton the relegated sides are Burnley Luton and Brighton going downwards in that exact order so the FA Cup's gone to Liverpool they won 2-0 so we're going to be meeting them in the Community Shield next season uh, Manchester City won the Carabao Cup Sevilla won the Super Cup against Manchester City Man City won the Champions League back to back two years in a row okay we need to do something about this now next season we need to stop this from um from transpiring because man city they're one away from ca uh, catching up to man united we've got three european titles to our name man city they already have two it's actually getting crazy right now they've done it two years in a row final they beat liverpool 2-1 in the final what a surprise and uh, aston villa they lost 4-2 to besiktas in the ecl final too so uh, that's it that's decided um all the competitions have been played we are quite upset to see man city win the champions league but man united they're back on top in the premier league let's see how what the board think of us i think the board probably think the exact same thing that they thought uh, in the last episode probably on the 75 yeah there you go the board's just so ungrateful so we have a deadwood issue in the squad and you guys already know we are looking to bolster the squad in certain areas especially that center back area and the cdm role uh, if we can find a way to patch up our defense and find a way to um yeah make things link up a bit better in the midfield then maybe next season we can be unstoppable we can be an unstoppable force because we need to find a way to stop man city from winning it three years in a row we already got donny van der beek on his way out uh, negotiating with Eintracht Frankfurt and uh, yeah I, I think we should end it here we should end it here if you made it this far sub to the channel if you are new hit the notification bell as well and smash that like button if you enjoyed the video <laughs> uh, we didn't get the result that we would have hoped for against uh, Barcelona but we did get the Premier League over the line which is the first uh, first piece of silverware that we, we needed to get back into our cabinet as May and I haven't won it in over 10 seasons so yeah uh, we got to start somewhere Rome wasn't built in a day Take care for now. Peace.